Hello, Howard's Grove staff, parents and guardians, and community members. My name is Shannon Kilton, and I am thrilled to introduce myself as the next superintendent in Howard's Grove. I'd like to start by thanking you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to watch this video today. With all the changes in the district, I wanted to take this opportunity um, to let you get to know me a little better so that you feel confident and ready to start the upcoming school year. During the video today, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about who I am as a person, my background and experiences, who I am as a leader, and what are my core values and beliefs. So this is me. I was born and raised in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. So coming back to Howard's Grove is actually like coming home. Um, growing up as a child, I spent many summers at Fireman's Park in Elkhart Lake. I attended Camp Wicota almost every summer. I would often be found fishing um, in Pigeon River and catching crawfish. And I'd also be found swimming at the quarry in Sheboygan. So coming back to Howard's Grove is like coming home. I attended Sheboygan North High School and ended up being the first person in my family to go to college. Um, I'm the first generation college graduate raised by a strong single mother. Um, school came very easy to me and I loved school, but again, I attribute my success to the wonderful teachers in the Sheboygan Area School District. They actually believed in me and as a child um, from divorce and a child living in poverty, um, without the teachers, um, I wouldn't be where I am today. I firmly believe in a family first philosophy. Here are some pictures of my family. Um, superintendent's jobs are very important and all education jobs are very important, um, but we all need to have a positive work-life balance and it's key to our success as human beings. Um, the only way we can take care of the children in the district of Howard's Grove is to ensure that we are taking care of ourselves um, and our families. So please know as a, your leader and your next superintendent, I believe in a family first philosophy. After high school, I attended the University of Wisconsin Whitewater. This is a picture of me up here. Um, I was a college athlete. I played softball all four years of my college experience. Um, the reason I mention that is I do believe that being a college athlete shows that I'm a team player. And it also speaks to my work ethic. Um, it, it takes a lot of work to be a college athlete and a full-time student, um, and it has really helped me be a well-rounded person and leader today. Listed here on the screen are a few of the school districts I've worked in over my long educational career. Um, each one of these districts actually has taught me many things. Um, my first teaching job was in the Milwaukee Public School System, and that taught me that teachers really need mentors. I was not given a mentor my first year, um, so I firmly believe in the mentor-mentee program, and new teachers need our support. Um, moving into Zion, Illinois um, was my first principal job. I was 29 years old, um, and it really taught me to believe in myself. When I moved to Appleton Area School District, I was a principal at Wilson Middle School, and that school district really taught me um, the real appreciation of the arts and athletics. Moving on to West Bend, I was an elementary principal at Decorah Elementary in West Bend, and that's where I developed my passion for supporting students in special education. Um, we revamped our entire special education program when I was in West Bend, and it was a wonderful learning experience for me. And finally, my last stop was in the Glendale River Hill School District. I was a principal there and also moved into the district office to be the assistant superintendent. Um, what Glendale has taught me is that relationships, family, and a sense of community are extremely important. I stayed there for 13 years, and many of those students um, I still have a strong connection with. Soon after um, joining the district office in Glendale, I participated in an aspiring superintendent's academy for female leaders. Um, this was a wonderful opportunity to, to grow as a female leader, and I'm extremely proud to be the first female superintendent in Howard's Grove. Um, the mentors and um, colleagues that I met through this program um, really helped support my desire to move into the superintendency. So a little bit about me as a leader. Um, these are a few quotes that I think speak to who I am as a leader. Um, and really, the summary of this is actions speak louder than words. And what you can expect from me is that if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to follow up and I'm going to do it. Um, and then again, leadership is not about a title or a designation. It's about the impact, influence, and inspiration that we can have on one another. 
So this is a little bit about me as a leader. Now I'm going to move into a little um, some things about my belief system. Um, this slide, and these are some of my wonderful students from Glendale, um, I strongly believe in relationships. Um, trusting relationships are key to my leadership style, and I believe firmly that trust is earned. Um, and trust is earned by really being who you say you are, being true, having integrity. Um, and I really pride myself on having positive relationships with staff, students, and their parents and guardians. I really look forward to learning all about the students, staff, and parents in the Howard's Grove School District. Um, I'm very passionate about educating the whole child. While I know education is all about teaching and learning and high academic standards, I firmly believe that it is important that we look at the heart and soul of every child and make sure their social emotional needs are met um, as well as their academic needs. Especially after the year that we've all encountered with the pandemic, um, the mental health and social emotional needs of our students need to be at the forefront. And I'm very passionate about that work. Communication is key in any leadership role and in a school district and a community. I am a transparent communicator. I have an open door policy and you will see me in your classrooms, in the community and in the school buildings. Um, I believe in being visible, not only to see what's going on, but to listen. Um, I will listen, I will learn, and I will be there um, and visible in the district. In addition, I believe communication needs to be predictable and reliable. So I plan to develop um, a communication structure for communicating with staff and communica communicating with parents in the community so that people always know what's going on in the district. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm open-minded. Um, I'm reflective, I will listen, even when we disagree. Um, sometimes tough decisions need to be made, um, but you can be rest assured that I'm going to listen and be reflective, um, even when decisions maybe aren't always desirable. This is just who I am. I'm a team player, it's my philosophy. I like to collaborate and I believe in shared decision-making. Um, I love the quote. Um, that I included here. Competition makes us faster. Collaboration makes us better. The only way we can do this job is if we work together um, to do what's best for kids. This is something you'll hear me talk about on a regular basis. Students come first. Um, as a leader, my decisions will be grounded in what, it, grounded in what is best for kids. Um, and students come first. In my previous district, I developed um, the statement here, we are responsible for every kid, every day, whatever it takes. Um, when I say every kid, I mean every kid. All means all, and I'm committed to making sure we provide quality education and supports for every kid in Howard's Grove. I'm also well-rounded. I'm down to earth, I have a sense of humor, I'm a real person, and I make sure that I have a good balance between work and home. Um, this crazy picture here is just an example of our leadership team in my previous district and we decided we would all wear funny costumes at one of our staff in services. Yes, that's me down there in the Hulk Hogan costume, I excuse the costume, but we wanted to have some fun with the staff and that's what we decided. I firmly believe in equitable and inclusive practices. Um, I have been working in districts um, that are very culturally diverse for the last many years. Um, so I have high expectations for all students. I ensure that I have um, included my education practices around social justice. I'm not afraid of courageous conversations based upon race, implicit bias, or white privilege. Um, and closing the achievement gap and opportunity gaps for kids is critical. Um, every kid should be afforded an opportunity to get any class that we have to offer and we need to celebrate diversity. Now let's meet the leadership team for Howard's Grove. This is very exciting. When I interviewed with the board, um, one of my points that I sold myself on was that I was extremely excited to build a team and that change is an opportunity for growth. And I firmly believe that. And now that we've built some of the team members that I'm going to introduce, I'm even more excited for the opportunities that exist moving forward. I'd like to start by introducing Mr. Brian Walters. Brian is going to be our next business manager in the district. 
Um, Brian comes to Howard's Grove with 17 years experience in education, um, 14 years as either administrator or as a school business manager and superintendent experience. Um, he's worked in large districts, small districts, all around the state of Wisconsin. Um, in addition to Brian's resume, you'll see here um, the wonderful picture of his family, his wife Heather, his daughter Bryn, son Brody, daughter Zoe, and Morgan, nine-month-old baby in the hand there. So um, Brian's going to be a great addition to the team. Um, he loves to read, listen to live music, play and watch sports, but he also has a great mind for the business side of the school district, which is obviously critical as we need to be fiscally responsible. So welcome aboard to Brian. Next, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. John Hess. He's going to be the high school principal in Howard's Grove. Um, John is joining the leadership team, um, having been a principal and um, athletic director for Gilman Middle School and High School for the past four years. Along with coaching experience, John has taught biology at Cedar Grove, Belgium, Kettle Moraine, and served as the director of instructional internship in Port Washington. John is currently relocating to the area um, from up north, so be ready to see him in the area soon. And now a familiar face to make everyone feel a little at ease. We are thrilled to welcome Angie Houston as the next middle school principal. This is Angie's first principalship. Um, she's been obviously teaching in your wonderful district for many years as a general music teacher and a band director. Um, and she's been in Howard's Grove for the past 20 years. So we are thrilled to have Angie on the leadership team. Um, Angie's the proud mom of Caitlin there and their wonderful dog, Bentley. And I'd like to introduce Sarah Ellinger. Sarah comes to her first principalship also in Howard's Grove, serving um, for the support teacher in special education in Plymouth. She has experience as an assistant principal in Sheboygan and a summer school assistant director. Um, she's also the wife to Eric here pictured and mom to five month old Landon. Um, in addition, can't leave out the dogs um, that were their children prior to Landon, and that is Garbanzo and Beans, very cute names. So that comes, that brings us to a close of the video. I'd like to thank you again for listening. I cannot wait to meet you in person. You will hear me say, we got this um, throughout our time together. We've got this. Please trust us. We will make great things happen in Howard's Grove. Um, change is an opportunity for growth, and I will consistently say that. So thank you for listening. I look forward to meeting each of you in person. Have a wonderful rest of your summer.